Okay guys, so big news. Today is Sarah's <gasps> birthday! Yay! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sarah! Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, I didn't know. She's 24. I didn't know we were putting that in the video. So <laughs> thank you for singing for everybody. Happy birthday. Sarah is 24 years old and has it been a good birthday? It's been an awesome birthday. I'm stuffed. We just ate at my favorite breakfast place, Original Pancake House. It was good. And I feel really good. We're going to go do... Manny Petties. Derek's coming with me. All I right. gotta film that. So, two things. First is I got a haircut. Derek got a haircut. Look how good it looks. My sister cut it. Thank yes. you, Larissa. Second thing is we changed our name on YouTube. So now we are the Beeston fam. Yes. Um, you can still search Sarah Beeston and you'll find her. But moving forward, it'll be the Beeston fam. This is not my show. <laughs> this is our show. And... It's your Very show. Big boy it's show. very much your show. No, but it needs to be the Beast and Fame. I have FOMO and I like to be included. <laughs> Major FOMO. All right, you guys. This is part two of our love story. If you didn't watch part one, go back and watch that because you're going to be really confused. <laughs> we might have to do a part three if we just keep talking like we did last time and That's we just cool. like details. There might but... be part three, part four, part five, but hopefully we can get through it in part two. So after our awesome first kiss, we started hanging out like every single day. And making out. Making out, you know. We decided to take a drive after we were hanging out every day for two weeks. And we went up to this spot. Did you know where it is? No. I didn't know what it was. No, we just kind of like drove and ended up at the top of this mountain. Yeah, it was <laughs> really pretty lookout. Really, really pretty. Like, I just remember we talked for like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. Deep and stuff. Just like about life and our families and pretty much everything. And then out of nowhere, <laughs> you should tell this part. I was feeling it. I really liked Sarah. Like I was talking about in the last video, she had made such a difference in my life. And like we were just connecting on such like a personal level. We were moving really fast. And it kind of just came out. I didn't even think it was going to, but I was just like, pretty awkwardly again like the first time when I it wasn't I that awkward when he it was said better. that it was a lot better i told her i loved her yeah and he said i love you and i was like whoa she told it to me back so yeah. it was huge yeah. we were both like feeling it. it wasn't one of those like weird like forced things like it kind of okay i feel like we're kind of making it sound like it was that but it wasn't it was just like we were both just feeling it and I think I knew it was coming and so yeah. then he said it and I was like in my head I was thinking the exact same thing and I full-on like sent it with the thought in mind like she might be freaked out and she might not say this back <laughs> that just, I was just like Ooh. She did throw it. <laughs> no I was feeling the exact same way so yeah it was crazy so it was really really this was two weeks after we had met yeah but I drove home it was like one in the morning and woke my mom up, which is weird, but I like, he tells I had to everything. tell someone. <laughs> it's so boy. cute. <laughs> but I told her, I was like, Sarah and I told each other we loved each other. And she yeah. was so happy, like, she couldn't have been happier. Okay guys, so this next part, things kind of get a little sticky, weird. It was definitely the hardest part for when we were dating. So the buddy I had talked about, Jackson, in the last video, he was like my best friend. He's still one of my best friends. We were hanging out and he tells me, dude, Sarah's boyfriend is coming home from his mission in a week. And I was like, what? So he was out serving a mission like I had been. I was home dating Sarah. I knew about him. Sarah dated him for two years. So I was like, okay, things are great right now. But as soon as he comes back, it's gonna get so weird. So when he told me that, I literally pooped out my heart. I was like, felt so sick to my stomach. I was like, what does this mean? Like I've been living in this like fantasy world, dating Sarah, everything's been so rainbows and butterflies and we've just been in this honeymoon stage and now he's gonna come home and things have to get real. Like they obviously knew each other very well. They dated for two years back. Derek was panicking. I was panicking hardcore. Really panicking. 
But yeah, he comes back and Sarah has like a couple conversations with him. You can tell him about that. But. So he's coming home and I'm like, okay, and I'm telling Derek and I'm, you know, I'm kind of reassuring Derek because at this point I'm like, I already knew that Derek was the one, the guy that I wanted. Yeah. And so I was trying to reassure Derek, but I'm sure he didn't really believe me. No, I didn't. It was like, I knew she loved me and I knew that we were like meant for each other. Everything felt so right, but I was just like, how do you just tell this guy that you've been dating for two years that you're no longer in the picture? So basically he came home and I, he called me and he's like, hey, I'm home. And Derek was actually with me. We were cuddling on the couch. We were watching a movie <laughs> oh, and I got a call. A... <laughs> Still stressed oh, about it. Four years later, five years later. <laughs> I get a call <sighs> and it's him. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? Just blah, blah, blah. And I just see Derek on the couch like for like, so stressed, so just freaking out. He's like, hey, I really want to see you. I really want to talk to you. Like, we need to have a conversation. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Like, I definitely need to have a conversation with this guy because I, I dated him for two and a half years. And you know, Derek, our relationship was still new, but I definitely yeah. owed him a few conversations. That was a fun phone call. And then it was a few days later, I met up with him and I think you were just pacing in your I paced house. paced for probably like five hours in my house. Just <laughs> my parents were like, are you all right? I was like, no, oh I'm not. God. I just paced back and forth until Sarah knocked on the door and said, we talked, it's done. And that's exactly how I went. She was like, it's done. Like we're moving forward. But like, I couldn't shake it out of my mind. And oh, it literally like, it was m way more me. Like Sarah kept assuring me like, Derek, I love you. You're like, you're the one I want to be with. I know that. But I got way inside my head and just started like telling myself, oh, daddy. Yeah, I'm boring her. <laughs> no, like, she doesn't want to be with me. She wants to be with this guy that she knows. And I got, uh. I just kept getting in my head. And then it got to the point where I was like, do I even pursue this? I was an idiot. I was really dumb. He was, guys, he was thinking about just like. It was stressful. Dipping out because it was too stressful, <sighs> even though I'm over here convincing him. It wasn't super convincing, but it was like. I was convincing. No. It, I literally had like two conversations with maybe him, it's and then it was like nothing. I, think like, it, I didn't even go on a date with him. I think it's because I didn't. I had only known Sarah at this point, you know, a little over a month. I didn't know what was convincing and what wasn't. I was just like, all I know is she knows this guy a lot more than, than she knows me. Yeah. And this may have been a really fun phase of life that we were in, but I'm like, they, they Derek have Derek wanted a to much dip stronger... out because he was scared of getting hurt. Yeah, I you, was. You were I didn't really... know how to handle that. And so when it finally like came to that point with Sarah, it was really kind of just sketchy at first that as we kept dating, things got a lot better. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop worrying about this. He is still around. Any he, day Sarah he kind could of go back did, to him. And he, he did text a few other times and wanted to meet up to give his clothes back and have these talks. And I, I knew that she loved me. I was like, they're meeting up and he is really good at talking. <laughs> and they had a great relationship and who knows maybe she'll feel those feelings come back and want to go back with him so it was like the weirdest four months ever until we got engaged i don't know if it was four months it was pretty much like three or four months it probably felt longer we, Derek, yeah. because i feel like it was a pretty I, instant like almost like i almost felt bad that i was so sure that it was Derek. You know? Yeah. Like that's where I was at. So I feel like it was quicker than that. For me, I didn't feel like it was for sure until we were engaged. And I was like, all right, now we're like setting, sending out wedding invitations and all this. Like nothing's going to change, even though it could have, even when we were engaged. But it just yeah. felt a little, it, it felt way more secure. My trust for Sarah just grew and grew. And at the, then I was just like, you know what? I know she loves me. Like we're going to push through this. We're going to make this happen. 
I just knew something about Derek. He wasn't trying to be anything he wasn't. He wasn't cocky. He was super humble. Like just this nice guy. Like he didn't try and make out with me. He was just awkward, kind of shy. I don't know why. It was like so endearing to you, me. I never so, thought that that stuff worked, but it did. No, it, it worked because I feel like lots of guys I dated, not specifically this past boyfriend, but Lots of guys I went on dates with or dated were like really yeah in your face tools. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Not no. tools. They're not tools. I can't think They're of the word. They're just a little overbearing. They're not tools. No, I won the, end of that. the mini bachelor competition. Mini bachelor. Very mini bachelor. But yes, I, was... I think he. I really do think that that boyfriend had the intention of being home and trying to talk me out of this. And that's what made me so nervous, but yeah. I got over it, I trusted Sarah, she trusted me, and we moved on. Also, side note, <laughs> this friend was also very good friends with Jackson. Yeah, And yeah, so they went yeah. to the same high school. Yeah. Jackson and I went to the same junior high, so we so were like, like best friends. So like same best friends, I don't know how But then how he that transfers, happened. and then they become best friends, I remember him always talking about like, yeah, dude, my buddy here at, at Timpanogos has this girlfriend. She's super cool. And this was back in high school. And I was like, obviously had like no idea who Sarah world. was. Sarah also watched me play football and yes. had no idea who I was. Yeah. And it was the best game of my entire life. We were in the same school, school high school yeah. district. And <laughs> well, I actually played tennis with Derek's cousin since I was like 12. We never knew any of this until we met. Like, no, she was always trying to set me up with her older brother. She's like, you could date my older brother, but I ended up marrying her cousin. Anyway, so we were in the same district for high school, so Derek, Yeah. I, I watched him play my high school, he best was the game quarterback. Of my life, and then we ruined it at the very end, and I had to like... It was bad. They lost. Was, so sad. I always have that over him. My, my school beat him. That's right. Back to the um, boyfriend. Back to the boyfriend. There was one... One day where Derek said that he was going to play basketball with this group of group of guys. Yeah. Did you know he was going to be there before that? No, I had no idea. Okay, so Derek doesn't know, but my past boyfriend that I dated for two years is there. They're going to play basketball and Derek texts me and says he's here, we're playing against each other, and I'm, then I'm the one sitting at home like, oh my gosh, are they going to punch <laughs> each other? Like... What are they gonna do? Like, I feel like boys get a little bit insane in basketball. I just didn't know it, it was gonna happen. It got pretty aggressive, but we. <laughs> I thought I like things were gonna break out, but it didn't. We kind of just kept our cool, and we. It was like that I'm weird sure like, they were dude, fine, but... nice shot, man. <laughs> I hate you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're being super fake. Like, to each dude, other. you're so cool, man. Dude, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. I just, like, <laughs> it's so awkward. I just Sarah's great and. I'm totally sorry, man. I, I was just... stressing. I'm like, I just don't know because one, it's already like an intense situation and yeah. they don't like each other. And then two, you put sports on top of it, like basketball, like a contact sport. Yeah. And I'm just like, this is not, not a good well. thing, but it went all right. It was all good. Yeah. Look at my maternity. <laughs> These are my maternity pants. Very cute. Yes, very <laughs> cute that they go all the way up. So okay, Whew. now Nod. that that is off the table, um, Derek and I hung out every single day. I actually, soon after that, I got my license taken away. She had five speeding tickets. Yeah, so basically, the last speeding ticket that I got before my license got taken away was on Derek's birthday. Yeah, it was a rough time. So basically, Derek, Picked so me sad. up and just, <laughs> she couldn't drive anywhere. So I would just, drive 30 minutes to pick her up from school. Yeah. From my parents' house, I'd drive her back to my parents' house. Mm -hmm. We'd hang out till like three in the morning, and then I'd be like, "All right, see ya, Sarah." Oh wait, I have to take you home. So then I'd take her home and get back by like 4:30 every he night. Was the and best. this was like it for, was so it was so best. sad that I couldn't drive myself because. I guess if I had got caught one more time or driving without my license, like it could have been like a night in jail or something, something like that. So can you imagine me just little Sarah <laughs> behind bars? Behind bars. <laughs> no, but he did. He picked me up yeah. and took me everywhere. 
two months later we were sitting at his house it was really really late and i just got like this crazy crazy feeling that i just needed to tell derek exactly how i was feeling and basically i said i think you're the guy i'm gonna marry and well first she looks at me and calls me she goes um jackson and i was like <laughs> What? Like she had this big thing to tell me and she called me the wrong name. And then she like got I was so she got so embarrassed and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> I really messed that up. And I was like, Derek, and then I tried to make it all better and I compo composed? Composed. Composed. I composed. Okay, I composed myself and I looked at Derek and I was dead serious at this point, which is why I can't believe I called him the wrong name, but I said, Derek, I think you're the guy that I'm supposed to marry and I mean that and I feel that and... It definitely caught me off guard. I like heard that and was just like, wait, what did you just say? Like, are you, you're serious? Like. You, you actually think I'm the guy you're going to marry? And she was like, yeah, I know this is crazy, but I actually think I'm gonna marry you. And then I kind of like gathered my thoughts and was like, I don't know why I'd feel any different. I feel the exact same way too. Yeah. You guys, like, my cat. Oh, freaking cat. <laughs> Do you guys wanna meet my cat? Um, yeah. This is Kitty the kitty. Hi, cat. Wanted to join our video. It's, it sounds so like absolutely insane when we're talking about it because and we it's did. so quick and like when I say that I said this to Derek like after two months I was like not that clingy type of girl no, not at all. that like I, I don't know. It caught me so off guard because she was like she's pretty reserved a little bit and doesn't like to like very reserved. I usually don't like share my feelings and like I know this doesn't happen in every relationship and sometimes it takes years to like finally realize like this is the person I want to be with. Yeah. And it's that saying of like when you know, you know. <laughs> and, and that's just like the only way I can describe it without you guys thinking me so. As crazy. we kept dating, I like kept trying to reason with myself and be like, Are you being serious? Like maybe it's not true that this is the girl you're gonna marry. But I couldn't shake it. Once it was there, I was like, no, she actually is the one I want to marry. I've never felt happier with anyone in my life. And I think he could say the same. It was pretty set in stone. Mm -hmm. Like, we love each other and we don't ever want to be apart from each other. Mm -hmm. After that, we started having like more and more conversations about like, okay, is this real? Is this real? Like, what's the future going to be like? I had just turned 19 and you know, then we are starting to talk about like getting engaged and just all this stuff was just happening so crazy. Yeah, I was 20 and at this point, so we were Derek both was, so young. Yeah, we're having these conversations and we're like, okay, we probably need to like start telling our family members like where we're at with yeah. this. I mean, they knew that we were like very close, inseparable. like inseparable, like they probably expected that Something and remember, like, this was like we had met in August. This is September, October, November. Well, this, is, this is like December. Maybe start yeah. of December, so three and a half, four months later. Yeah. Like so, really, really fast. Like crazy. Obviously, it's not like that for everybody, and everybody's story is different. But it's very fast, and so we're we start talking to our parents about it, and again, we're both so young. And so that brought up like lots of different challenges because they were a little bit worried. Like my parents were a little bit worried about, you know, Derek and his brain injuries and just like, what does that mean for like future. your future? Not that they love Derek, like yeah. to death, like love Derek to death, never wanted me with like any other guy, but they, they just concerned. had concerns, you know? And, and I had concerns. I at this point like didn't know what was going on with after this brain injury I talked about in the last video I had no idea what was going on my future was a little like unsettled I didn't know what was gonna happen was I gonna start you know having like malfunctions and 
forget people and start like having It was just, you think struggles. like way down the road because I haven't and marriage, I've been doing amazing. I've yeah. gotten back to complete normalcy and yes. things are great. But it's, yes, but I mean, you just think about like when you're, I'm sure when you're a parent, like you just think about, okay, this is the rest of your life. And obviously we aren't planning on marrying anyone else. So it was just a big concern. And that's where it got like a little tricky. There were some, some arguments, some fights. Some big ones. Some, not with us, but just like with our parents of like having to defend each other and just even though both our parents loved us, it was just, yeah, it was a lot. And we were super young and it was so fast. At the end of the day, our parents supported us and they said, this is obviously your decision. We know how happy you guys are together. And so they were okay with it, which was awesome. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. So, so happy it's her birthday. Oh my God. Birthday Niggy. Oh no, birthday, I Niggy. hate Nugs. No. <laughs> Sarah and I are both 24 now. Uh, Derek loves this because this is the only time. For like one month we're the one same age. One month we're the same age. And wow, then happy birthday. Me. Thank you. We have basically decided we're going to get married. We've got a long ways to go, but mm -hmm. it's just crazy that we've had these conversations. Yeah. My family loved Sarah. Like, Sarah was like... Sarah saved Derek and Sarah made, makes Derek's life so happy. Like, mm. we love her. So anytime it was like a family gathering or anything we were doing, Sarah was invited. So it's Thanksgiving. I kind of was just like, you know, my parents are inviting Sarah to everything. I'm just gonna invite her to California with us for Thanksgiving. <laughs> and so I asked my parents and they're like, yeah, yeah, she can come. I had Thanksgiving with my family had earlier and then I took a flight to California to be with Derek's family and stayed there in Shaver Lake yeah. for a few days with them. Yeah, it was amazing. And so then much snow. Everyone at that point like loved her. My whole extended family was just like, you're gonna marry her. This is the perfect girl for you. My <sighs> grandpa looked at Sarah and was like... He still says this to me yeah. if we don't work out. <laughs> he, he looked at me and he said, Okay, so if you know this whole thing doesn't work out with you and Derek, you're invited to Shaver, and we'll just have Derek stay home. <laughs> like, that's how much my family I loves Sarah. <laughs> it's really comforting to know that they love her so much, and at that time, it was so awesome. Anyways, we talked a lot, mm -hmm. and easily have to make a part three. Sorry, guys. We're there's so much details. more that has happened. We're like months in and we've been married for four years I we're know. gonna figure out a way to fit it all into the next video yeah we have a ton we're gonna have to try to fit into part four, part three me proposing, proposing to you planning a wedding landing getting married moving to hawaii getting mm -hmm. pregnant to like where we're at now we still got a lot to talk about part three will be back in hawaii because we're going back tomorrow we're gonna be quarantined there for two weeks so it'll be easy to make a lot of indoor YouTube videos. You guys are amazing. We love all the positive feedback and support. It's so fun to, to see that you guys like this and that you support us. Um, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and click to get notified so you don't miss our videos. We hope that you guys love this and remember to comment and let us know of anything you wanna see in the future. Um, Sarah. Tell us what to do during quarantine. We'll make some fun YouTube quarantine videos. Help us out. It's going to be a long two weeks, but it's going to be nice to be back there and just get things ready. Sarah's 32 weeks pregnant. Yeah, almost. Pretty much 32 yeah. weeks pregnant. Like We're going to get lots of baby stuff ready. Maybe we'll do some videos about getting all that together, building yeah. dressers, all the fun stuff, nesting. Derek said that. <laughs> Did you say yeah. that? Oh, the other nesting. nesting. We're going to be We're nesting. both nesting. Anyways, you guys, we love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you later. See you next happy time. Happy birthday, Sarah. Happy Thank birthday, you. happy birthday, 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 happy birthday.